hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and it's another day another vlog so i have been in a little bit of a rut the past couple days i don't know why but today we're going to go ahead and get ourselves out of that so first things first hey my name is mink i make natural hair lifestyle beauty book content all of those type of things so if you're interested in any of those definitely go ahead and click that subscribe button join our kinky crew fam because we would absolutely love to have you but yeah i've been in a little bit of a funk and i don't really know why what that is like is it the season change i don't know because it's still hot outside so yeah i don't know but i've been in my place for about a month now um so i don't know y'all know i'm still unpacking there is still stuff all over the place um so i think that today i'm going to just take that time to really go ahead and clean my space and just sort of like recenter myself okay so y'all know i lit a candle the candle is burning it's sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar fire um and then i have a couple things i need to show you guys and then i'm going to clean today i was going to film but i need to clean up this space and just sort of finish i need to unpack i'm tired of looking at all of this stuff child so yeah those are things you can look forward to in this vlog i need some cleaning i need to unpack the rest of my stuff i know y'all are waiting to see what my finished shelf is gonna look like child that's not done so yeah i finished a book recently so we got a lot of things to talk about so i'm not sure everything that this vlog is going to entail but i know for sure it's going to be a good one so first things first i did go to target today and i went earlier this morning just needed to knock it out while i was up child and then i came home and took a nap <laughs> Um, and I just went ahead and got some cleaning stuff because for whatever reason, I can't find some of the cleaning stuff I had from my old place. So I just went to Target and got some new stuff. So first and foremost, I got this um, Scrubbing Bubbles Bubbly Bleach Gel for like the toilet bowl disinfectant. Y'all know, just toilet cleaner. I did also get some um, Fabuloso because i'm tired of the swiffer okay if i'm honest i am tired of that daggone swiffer so i got this i did get a new mop as well it's back there by the door um so i got some fabuloso because i feel like the swiffers don't really be getting everything and i don't know like it's cute for when it's something quick but I, okay we got some fabuloso and this is in the um lemon scent I got some Comet to go ahead and clean out my tub. This isn't something that I use all, all the time, but when I need a deep clean, I will use Comet. I also, child, was running out of sugar, so I had to get some sugar. And then the last thing I got was just a little itty bitty bucket so that I could um, use the Fabuloso to mop my floors. And then I did get a couple packages delivered. So the first one was some stickers. Y'all know, I put stickers on everything. So for my Kindle, I did go ahead and order a case. Um, it's just a clear case, so I'll show y'all that when I set that up as well and some stickers just like some you know some re stickers so i'm going to do that as well but those stickers child are in the room so y'all won't see those until i put it on the kindle but i also did get some packages delivered so this one is from like a third party influencer situation and yeah this is what i thought it was so this is the fresh um the brand fresh this is the lotus youth preserving resurfacing dream serum it says it gently exfoliates and boosts radiance and it's um one fluid ounce so i'm not sure how much it is off the top of my head but i will um link it if i can so that's what it looks like super super pretty packaging um let me open it for y'all oh yeah this is super cute packaging oh yeah this is super cute packaging i love the blue this will look cute with all my products so yeah that's one i got to try um and today i actually want to do a face mask so maybe i will try this today and then this is the other thing that i got so y'all know i was a oyen honey ambassador um and they told us they were going to send us these packages like a month or some change ago and i finally got it um i had to reach out to them a couple times to see what was up but i finally did get it so let's see what's in the box my mom did open it for me because i was like child what did they send for it to take this long because like when i ordered my packages before they always came super quick they're based in um baltimore i'm in pittsburgh so it's not you know too far away so i was like child what did y'all what did y'all get for it to be this long but you know so they sent a water bottle um love that love a water bottle I have I feel like every brand likes to send water bottles and you can never have too many 
um i told my mom i was gonna give this one to her because like i said i have like four of these spray long mist ones i might keep the white one i have a purple one she can have a purple one because i feel like the white and black you know what i mean for video aesthetic purposes okay they also sent us this cute little pen really cute pen i think it's a red pen um and then there's a card and it just says thank you for being a part of the win um brand ambassador partnership shout out to y'all if y'all bought anything with my um code i really do appreciate that shout out to y'all next are these like inspirational quote cards with like answers and questions and stuff so i'll read through these there is a little journal in here you can never have too many journals and it's pink y'all know i love pink and then the last thing in here is some satin pillowcases so i'll wash these they're gray they're coming up kind of purple on camera but they're gray so yeah y'all that is everything that was in this box as well so that concludes my little hauls of the day chat probably not at a vlog because y'all know i stay ordering something but yeah so like i said i don't think i'm gonna film today i think i'm gonna save that for tomorrow um i want to go to the gym tomorrow as well there's a gym in my new building so i think i want to go do that tomorrow um but for today i really just want to go ahead and clean and unpack because i feel like there's just stuff everywhere and um i tend to get overwhelmed when my space isn't you know doing what it needs to do so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do is to clean up a little bit so that way tomorrow i can be refreshed and ready to film and give y'all good energy because there's nothing worse than filming with bad energy because i feel like it channels through the through the screen you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all i'm gonna get off this camera i hope that you guys stick around because i think this is gonna be a cute little vlog done i was stabbing it with a fork to make sure that you know it was all clean um coming off the fork but chad why was my icing expired so looks like we'll be making a target run tomorrow <laughs> all right you guys so i am back and i just wanted to come through and show you guys my closet because it is finally full i moved like a month ago child by the time y'all see this who knows how long it's been but i just wanted to come through and show you guys that my closet is officially done so on the side i have shoes that are still in boxes slash don't need to get smashed i still have literally like a whole nother half where i'll fill it up so i'm thinking maybe my rev air maybe my nail stuff chow i don't know um and then i have my clothing so i have more of my summertime stuff over here with the white hangers um dresses skirts you know that type of stuff and then the black hangers as y'all can see are all my hoodies jackets sweatshirts all of that some of the stuff on the white hangers are outfits that I need for coming up and then my robes and stuff are on the inside there. I also have some space down here on the bottom. Um, this this bin needs to be gone through but that's mostly kitchen stuff I believe like you know rags and stuff. Um, my empties bag is tucked away in there so I plan to have hopefully my sheets, um, my shoes and you know other ins and outs but I just wanted to come and show you guys that my clothes are finally um put away they're also put away in my drawers and stuff but you know y'all need to see all that while i'm here i also did get my perfume collection all put up i'm actually waiting on um my perfumes from butter baby to come in they're little sample ones so y'all will see eventually but i have like my larger like more mist type bottles over on this side little perfume samples here and then my like glass bottles are over on this little shelf here which i will also try to link that um because it's in my Amazon store. So I'll link that for y'all as well. This is the one I have for my jewelry. And then this is the one that I have for my shades. I still don't know where my shades are at here. So that's what this is. And then this is my, my current lotion lineup that I'm trying to, you know, use up right now. So Bath and Body Works. Um, this stretch mark cream, I don't really know if it works. But the Fenty Butter is back there. Of course, y'all know I have Butter Baby up here as well. This is the Bango and Papaya. It smells so freaking good. 
I have the EOS lotion. This is fresh and cozy. Definitely a new favorite. And then I have this huge Nature's Goods one that is just about going. My mom gave this to me when it was literally probably still up here. Like, um, so I've been trying to use this up. Not my favorite, but you know, as you can see, we're almost done. So, and she got this from Marshalls. It was only $5.99. So, if you're looking for a bang for your buck type lotion, this is definitely a good one. It's 28 ounces, but it's just not my favorite. Hey y'all. So I had to take a couple days to just recharge. Y'all, um, I don't think y'all know this, but like when I vlog, it literally but when I vlog, I literally stop one day and then start the next. So I just needed a couple days off just to recharge and get myself together. So it's been a few days. It'll be like nothing happened for y'all but for me i needed a couple days off so i decided that today i am working on the shelf as y'all can see i'm still at work um but it's slow today child <laughs> thank goodness and this weekend i have a three-day weekend because it's labor day um so really it's like three and a half day weekend so i will be going to cleveland this weekend to go visit one of my aunts i um did get my deposit back from my old apartment um, and they did take some stuff out, but you know, child, they ain't worth my argument because they're going to lose money from my review anyway, which I'm going to work on tonight as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but I want to build my bathroom storage organizer at some point this weekend, but the main priority for this vlog is to get this shelf up. So I'm going to show you guys what the shelf is looking like and all of those things. I do have things separated out into piles. Y'all know on my shelf, personally, I like to separate by brand. So that's what I have been doing. So I'll give you guys a glimpse of the shelf as well as, um, the piles on the floor and everything. But I for oh, and I finished another book. I think I finished two books. I'm not sure, but y'all know I'm gonna give y'all a speed round review. Um, one was like a 400 page book, which really could have been shorter. Um, and then, um, the other book that I have was a novella, so it was only like 70 pages. So, short reads, all of those things. But first things first, I wanted to talk to you guys about this Shea Moisture Coconut Oil Shampoo. That's what it looks like. And y'all, I really did like this shampoo, but during the move, come on, focus, okay? But during the move, um, I don't know what happened to this shampoo. The the lid is broken. The lid has been broken for some time. Um, and once I finish up the shampoo, my moisturizer shampoo that I'm currently using, I was just gonna replace the lid. Um, but I guess during the move, I don't know if some of the heat from the air got in or what. But baby, when I tell y'all this shampoo is thick like a conditioner now, um. It didn't look like this before so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put this in my empties bag so that I could tell the people who don't watch my vlogs as well but you know y'all hear it first so um this is gonna be trashed because now I don't trust it which sucks because I did want to try this with the matching deep conditioner from this line they have like a y'all know the Shea Moisture Jar deep conditioners um I, I don't know what it's called um but I wanted to do a wash day with those two but you know it's okay i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the shelf in the stash is looking like child because we have talked about this ever since i moved um with the stash and once i actually get these products up and out my way then i feel like i'll have a lot more room i do want to order a bookcase with the deposit money um because as y'all can see back here all of my books are all lined up i actually do have some over here as well because i need to film some youtube content youtube book content yeah let's let's get into it okay y'all so this is what the shelf looks like of course my oils powders all of those things will go up here these are things that i have on my shelf just rearranging a bit um this shelf is pretty much the same Mayo and um carol's daughter were on this shelf before this one is a little bit of a hodgepodge it's more brands i'm excited to try there's um sultanicals baskin bloom oyen nature's little secret curl smith trey lux Mish, all of those things are up there i have brands that i'm trying to actually get rid of so honeys main choice i have a lot of main choice stuff um as i am i'm not actively actively trying to get rid of that stuff but i have a lot of main choice or um as i am as well and then down here i decided to put my egos down here because i'm able to stack them up a little higher shea moisture Y'all know I have a ton of Shea Moisture, so that has to go on the bottom. And once I rearrange it, I'll have more space. There's more Carol's Daughter stuff over here. Pattern. Um, what is that? Cantu. Hodgepodge products. Hodgepodge products. You know. So I have all of my products separated out so that I'll just be able to 
um choose where i want them to go and go from there okay vlog i got the lights all set up and everything because chad i'm about to film a book um situation chad hold on let me move that book bag because y'all ain't supposed to see most of this stuff here so yeah i'm about to um do some book reviews for y'all real real quick all right chad obviously i'm all over the place i gotta film um i'm doing like my end of summer beginning of fall tbr hence the lights um i just did do my skincare um so that's why i look like a glazed donut i love this look this is my favorite time of the day i did use a new um skincare product it's the dream serum from fresh beauty and they actually sent that over to me via like um third party influencer stuff um and y'all yeah yeah if y'all want um an updated skincare routine or if y'all just want to see it like in a vlog of me doing my skincare definitely let me know because one thing's for sure i'm gonna do my skincare every single night and y'all know that i'm trying to get rid of these dark spots on my face and i picked up um some dark spot serum not the ordinary um we're working on it okay so the first book that i read um or the first book that i finished recently i finished this one maybe about a week ago it's called the neighbor favor by christina forrest and this was actually a really really cute book i gave it four out of five stars it's 400 pages so it is a little long and that was part of the reason why i took points off for this book as well because for me this book was unnecessarily long to me like i did like the point of the book let me tell you what the book is about so the book is about lily and nick lily writes for um a publishing company in the non-fiction di division she's not really feeling that she has a terrible boss her dream is to edit children's fiction books basically um so it we get a glimpse of like her career changes and everything she emails with her favorite author in or in l strickland or something like that um who wrote her favorite book just kind of by chance um he turns out to be the neighbor that she ends up having a thing with they end up falling in love you you know you know y'all know i'm a love story girl okay um so basically it just follows lily and nick's relationship how nick decides to tell lily that he's the author and it just sort of you know that we do get dual perspectives so we get the perspective of both nick and lily which is one of my favorite ways to read a book i love to get both perspectives personally um i do think that this was a very cute book um it was very light it was very fluffy nick does have some like family issues but um for the most part this book is very light very fluffy um nothing too crazy going on however i did take off the 0.5 stars for the length of the book i just feel like this book didn't need to be as long as it did and then i took off another 0.5 stars because the emails between um lily and nl strickland slash nick um were in the beginning of the book and it was like 40 pages of emails and though i understand we did need that backstory for the to, to really understand i just honestly didn't feel like we needed all of that like it, it felt like a lot like a lot a lot and honestly i felt like i was intruding <laughs> if you know what i mean i felt like i was intruding but overall i do think that this is a good book and even though it is long i was able to fly through it because it's so lightweight it didn't it didn't have any real heavy concepts where i just couldn't read all night you know what i'm saying so i do think that this book was good um and then lily does have two sisters and i know that christina forrest is releasing another book with one of the one of the green sisters um i don't remember which sister it is but there's another one that's coming out i want to say february 2024 so i will be picking them up i'll be picking up this whole series because y'all know one thing's for sure two things for certain i love a series and then for the girls that don't know i did get a kindle um yeah i did get a kindle i put stickers on it and everything and she is just so freaking cute so it says in my kindle era spiritually i'm at barnes and noble we got stitch you know what i'm saying i want to get a little pop socket so i can hold it you know while i'm reading um and then the book that i recently finished i'm gonna just put a pop-up of it honestly yeah i'm gonna just put a pop-up of it it was called um take a chance i don't remember the author's name i know it starts with an m but i i did like that book and honestly that was my first book that i read on my kindle as well as my first novella so it was only 70 pages that's what a novella is it's just real short and i really did like that book i thought it was a very very cute book um for 70 pages i feel like it low-key covered a lot of ground 
as well as baby it was a little spicy it was a little spicy and i'm finally getting into my spicy book era so i'm excited because chat once it starts to get cold cold i'm able to look out my window you know i'm trapped in here in the winter i need to be living through some people if you know what i'm saying so yeah those are the books that i recently finished um as for take a chance i did give that one five out of five i thought that was a really 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 cute book especially if you're just trying to like get back into reading um or you don't have a whole lot of time to read like i definitely feel like that was a good place to start for sure but i'm gonna go ahead and get off the vlog and i'm gonna film my um tbr list so i'll see y'all later all right you guys so i wanted to hop on real quick because i just finished filming but I also wanted to let you guys know that the shelf is officially finished. So I'll go through and tell y'all what brands are where, even though it's not like y'all gonna really be able to see it. But, you know. Okay, top shelf up here. Eden Body Works is over in this corner. I have Curls products. Um, African Pride is also back there. I have Crema Nature and Cantu as well. My oils and wet line will go up there as well. Next shelf, my yell. There is As I Am. Um, I gotta find my other Jamaica Black Castor Oil Water because I'm not sure what I said. Kiki Curly, Alake, um, those are the only two Twisted Definition products I have left. And then I have um, Carol's Daughter. I am missing my conditioner from Carol's Daughter. Chat, they're somewhere around here. I just don't know where. Next shelf, y'all know the products that I keep in that like steel container is products that wash day products that I'm currently using up. Next to it, there is Miche, there's Sultanicals, there's Trey Lux, which I haven't tried Trey Lux yet, but I'm hoping to get to them this fall. Baskin Bloom, Unicurl, Oyen, Nature's Little Secret, and then um, the one Curl Smith product that I have. Also very excited to try that. Next, I have Honeys. Working on getting rid of them. Still have a good bit of stuff left, though. I have Camille Rose, I have um, Curls and Potions, I only have a few products from Curls and Potions, those four are the only ones that I have, and then this shelf is um, Main Choice. And then down to the bottom shelf, I have Shea Moisture, this is literally all Shea Moisture, and then down here at the bottom, I put my Eco Stylers, because um, I was able to stack them higher, and then I just have a couple of Maui Moisture products, those are the only Maui Moisture products I have, so... These other products that are left are just going to go into a bin because I don't have somewhere for them to go just yet. Um, well, I had y'all know I had a secret stash anyway, but these will all be able to fit in one bin. I've really been using up a lot of stuff, so I'm hoping that all of this stuff will be able to go in one bin. And then y'all know I like to keep um, so my little chat we'll see we'll see i don't need all these bins but yeah y'all so i just wanted to come on here and show y'all so i'll give y'all one click one more quick glance over i have a lot of products that are just about gone or you know only have a few uses and all of that so those are the stash but here i am chow hey i was actually um cleaning up the kitchen so <laughs> I'm going to go clean up and then I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey I'm at the gym. I'm the only one in here. Um, so yeah, we got a date a little later. So I'm just kind of chilling for now. Um, I have like 20 more minutes in the gym. So yeah. Hey you guys, so I know that I popped through to show you guys me getting ready, but if I didn't let you guys know, I am getting ready to go on a date. We're going to um, a putt shack downtown, which I've only been mini golfing like once or twice, but it looks like a cute little vibe. Um, I'm supposed to meet him there at 7, so I have a little bit of time to get there and everything. But yeah, this is what it's given. I just put on a t-shirt and jeans because I don't know this man. Um, so I'll give y'all a quick little fit check of the day. My shirt says I don't give a flock. Check. Ciao. I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. Um, so yeah, I just did a super, super, super light beat just to cover, um, some little blemishes and stuff. But, and I painted my nails, child. Um, but yeah, that's what we're on today. So let me grab my bag so I can show y'all the fit of the day. All right, y'all. So y'all know I'm still not fully unpacked. So, you know, um, but this is what the fit is. I'm not sure if I'm going to tuck it up like this to give me a little bit more shape or what, but, um, just jeans, some little sneakers, the pink tail feezy to go with the pink and then my braids are just down. But yeah, this is the look of the day. So yeah and then tomorrow we're going to cleveland so i may come back and tell you guys about the date but 
we'll see <laughs> okay you guys so today is now saturday in the long weekend and as y'all can see i am dressed here i need to fix this edge real quick um but yeah we're actually on our way to cleveland today um i'm just gonna go visit my aunt i think we're going to i know for sure we're gonna go get some crab legs <laughs> um and then i think we're doing a candle making class today um or like fragrance making i know they had like room sprays like all types of stuff so that's what we're going to go do so i'm actually running a little bit late um i was supposed to leave like 20 minutes ago but chill. um so that's where i'm on my way to today um it's giving the look is giving let me show y'all it's giving like destiny's child survivor realness today um also y'all the day yesterday terrible 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 so before i go let me tell y'all so we meet there and child he tried to touch my butt first and foremost um hello um and then like he was real short in person like and y'all know i'm little like i'm five one so like okay um and the vibe just definitely wasn't there he didn't we went to like a mini golf place and the mini golf place was cute but it was only two of us and y'all know mini golf is only like the nine holes type thing so we finished that in like 30 minutes and child he had no other plans after that like the place sold food and drinks and stuff so i figured we was gonna get a little food get a little drink girl um none of that he said he looked at the menu and like didn't see nothing it didn't look appealing to him but i guess he didn't look and see where else we could go either because child when i tell you we were just sitting outside the place for like 45 minutes so um i was like okay well i'm gonna go because what do i look like just sitting around here with you like you asked me out sir like what is going on so i end up leaving he's walking me back to my car and then y'all he gives me the longest hug ever and I, I have to tell him i'm like okay let go because like it was uncomfortably long like and he tries to kiss me and i'm like Scott, like girl it was so incredibly weird blocked him but it, when i got in the car and locked my doors the block button was also hit it was y'all it was so bad it was so bad but let me show y'all this outfit real quick so i can get out of here all right y'all so this is the look of the day the bodysuit is from meshki this is actually from my aunt who i'm going to go visit i don't know if it didn't fit for her or didn't work out for her whatever um and this is a bodysuit it's double lined like this is meshki has good stuff um they're definitely expensive but meshki has good stuff like i'm able to get away with this with no bra y'all can see like the boobs are still pretty you know still sitting and then these are the pants that i have they're just like these little cargos um really really cute i like them i think they're cute i actually got these from plato's closet when i was dropping off some other clothes and then just the shoes that i had on yesterday the air forces out i don't know child i was trying to figure out what the actual name of these are called so i can leave them down below but yeah this is the fit of the day and i'm gonna wear my green tail far i wish i had a brown tail far because that would look so cute with this but yeah y'all so that is the look of the day i just put some mousse on the braids i'm gonna stop and get something to drink and yeah y'all we are out of here so i'll see y'all in cleveland okay vlog we're back with sean to germ welcome back we have been um with the vibes we just we went to go get drinking. our crab legs and we have indeed been drinking so she got her hair done today and it's giving would you like to give them a it's giving i woke up like this but we just got some some lick per usual um and we got the whip shots by um cardi b Child, it's not gonna focus but we're gonna try them on camera this is our second one this is our second shot but this is actually pretty good like and it has a little kick it's 10 percent like but boots those are ten of boots <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's like right. 90 degrees out here we've seen people in sweaters and ten of boots and fluffy socks anywho It's good, y'all. It Very is good. good. Okay. Hey. Hey. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ew. It's good. You don't refrigerate them. Child, hold on. It's non-dairy. You don't refrigerate it. It's gluten-free. Gluten Keto. Keto. 
This shit can't be keto. It's good. I do say keto. It's good though, y'all. I'm gonna add this in my morning coffee while I'm at work. Yeah, that's a good topper. Yeah. Um, so we're about to go to a candle place, scent place. Um candle to go do that. place. Yeah. So we're gonna do that and then I don't know, we'll find something else to do. Um, we're looking for Dr. Bronner scents too because I don't think I told y'all, but she texted me real randomly and said that she found a Japanese cherry blossom and a green tea, Dr. Bronner's. And y'all know I'm a Dr. Bronner's girl. I've tried like just about every scent. So we went to one and I did pick up the um the peppermint and like the eucalyptus one that smells like Vicks. Um <laughs> It do smell like Vicks. You ever smell that one? Nah, man. I, I go oh, I'm about to get it out of my car. It really do smell like Vicks. Like, I hope. I kind of love it. Um, I got PTSD. <laughs> Vicks, Childhood trauma. But, yeah. So, I'll pick up the camera um, the whenever we get to the candle scent place. Oh, that's nice. They have a little family out there. like to tell them what flavors you have like sugar mm -hmm. cake batter mm -hmm. and whipped cream Quick. and i have honey crisp i have almond and i have caramel So today is Monday. I told you guys we had a three-day weekend um, this weekend because today is Labor Day. Um, so today I'm chilling for the most part. But the one thing that I do want to do is I want to take these boxes um, from the move to get recycled. They're taking up a lot of space. I'm going to show you all in a minute. Um, so I am literally just throwing on some clothes now. I go on some Nike shorts and um, just a little t-shirt so that I can run down to take these to be recycled. It's gonna be a little bit of a task because the boxes are big, but I'm gonna I'm do what I can. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting dressed and ready now so that I can um, take those down. Duncan has free coffees on Monday, I wanna say throughout September. So that is what I'm literally doing now. But let me show you guys the boxes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready. So these are the boxes I have left. I'm going to leave that one there because there's still products in that and I'm not fighting that box. But all of these need to go. So I have my work cut out for me a little bit. 